I want you to stand. Where do I want you to stand? I want you to stand in harm's way just a little bit. Let's move the Arbalist right there. Let's keep the Fury in place. There's a decent chance that they'll step close enough that we can hit with the Arbalist. Fury, I definitely want them to be closer. Because I want those multiple strikes from a standing position. So this is a decent choice. Using defense in this position is not a big deal. But I do want to use... Oh, he's going to get flanked if I don't put him in defense mode when he gets hit. And he's going to get hit, so he has to go into defense mode. Alright, everybody else is going to automatically go into defense mode. They have no skills that can remove our defense mode, so I don't need to rotate my units. Alright. They are choosing not to attack. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're choosing very specifically one, two, three, four, five, six to put themselves in range to use their convert ability. They are not yet in a position that I feel that I can attack them. So I'm going to step back by two. Exactly two. Because that is the range of their people. Step you here. Step you here, bring our hero out of sight. One, two, three, four, five, six. No one is in range of being mind controlled. They have no choice but to advance towards us. The AI is aggressive. The AI will not wait for you to come to them. So we all we need to do is chill out. Let them come to us. Getting more defense is not important. These are magic users. We just wait patiently. Here we go, here we go. Alright, one one strike's not a big deal. They're getting exactly where I want them. Good deal, good deal. Inferno Puppy could use some healing. Let's see, I... This might actually be a position in which I'd like to use the Lightning Strike. Let's take a look at their resistances. They are nothing about shock. They're weak to frost, weak to blight. So using a poison strike might be recommendable. But I can get that lightning one, baby. So if I move here, I can lightning strike both of these. Better yet, I can lightning strike both of these light bringers. So I'm kind of risking the Inferno Puppy, but I can just heal him with Bolster Enchant. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, we're going to Lightning Strike these puppies. Bring them down big time. We are not going to let them convert our units. That is the number one thing that we're avoiding. Our objective on this turn is to kill them immediately. Mr. Arbalist, if you would do the honors. Failing horribly. Continue shooting. Fury, do it. We're gonna overdraw crossbow with the Arbalist next. Overdraw crossbow him. That's stronger than the regular shot. I made a mistake in not using overdraw crossbow. Overdraw. Good deal. Can you hit him? Yes, you can. You can break him and murder him. So, not a single one of our units got converted. They did not get to use their special skill. You, sir are slightly more dangerous if I attack him in melee and he dies then my units will get hurt however let's try to taunt him let's make him attack us 73% chance we got him let's get in there let's beat the crap out of him on purpose but not kill him we just want to hurt him and then we want to kill him the next turn because he's going to run. He's going to get hit as he runs as well by our Harpadier and our Anvil Guard. Mr. Inferno Puppy, you sir can stand somewhere where you're less likely to get hit. And that's our turn. He's going to run as predicted. Uh, He might actually die. Oh, okay, cool. Good deal. He's going to shoot the Anvil Guard. Because he has to shoot the ammo guard because we've taunted him. And then we're just going to casually blow him up. 70% uh, chance. 100% chance. 
Blast him. Blast him. Boom. And there we go. We played a lot better than the AI played. We lost no units. We only had a decent, very, very acceptable amount of damage against units that are very potentially dangerous. Alright, and we have cleared the Archon Blood. Next up, we're going to murder these Stone Spirits. We'll take care of that. Maybe next turn, or maybe we do it this turn. Can anybody reach him? No, nobody can reach him. Actually, Inferno Puppy can reach him. Inferno Puppy is hurt, though. But there's only three of them. Hmm. Screw it, let's do it. Fight. Y'all get to see another battle. We're going to do this manually as well because you're going to get to see the Stone Spirit in action with its immobilizing phase and its Quake ability. We'll also get to see the basic Lesser Stone Spirit, which I'm not worried about. The big puppy here is the Tier 3 Stone Spirit. Just for comparison, we're going to do an auto combat and see what we might have gotten if we let the AI do it. My guess is mm, one unit dead. Hey, hey, hey. No units dead at all. AI did a pretty good job. Let's not watch the replay. We can watch the replay if you want to, but we'll take a look at the screen. I see that my hero got half damage. Arbalest got some damage. Damage got distributed quite well. But let's do it manually. Let's see if we can do better than the AI. It is, of course, entirely possible that you could do worse than the AI. Let's also get rid of this hex grid so the map looks a little more beautiful. Right there. So, the Lesser Stone Spirits, easy peasy, not a problem. Pretty good defense, pretty good resistance. Mr. Big Boy, he's a bigger issue here. I think this means that he can do this no matter what, as long as he has one action point, and it does not use that action point. So he's probably going to be able to move to this hex, and then he can warp one, two, three, four. So what I want to do here is I want to, I want to bait him. I want to bait him into warping into my basic units that are meant to get hit. He does physical damage, right? Yes, yes, yes. He does physical damage. So chances are he's going to warp if he moves. Here, one, two, three, four, right into our units right there. Let's just stand back and let's let him come. We'll stand right there. We're not next to each other in such a way that the damage will be distributed to all of us. Bring in our Inferno Puppy, bring our Arp. Oh, no, no. That was a mistake. Don't, yeah, don't, don't play quite so fast. <laughs> we just wandered into poisoned mushrooms, which is going to inflict poison on our Arbalus slowly but surely. It's not much damage. It's a very small amount of damage. Oh, eight, eight by damage. That's a, that's actually a decent amount of damage. We are just more incentivized to kill the enemy even faster now. I want to put both of these into defense mode right now so that I can see their defensive statistics. Each of them has ten defense at the moment. I want to boost the defense of the anvil guard because we're going to try to taunt with him to get the stone spirit to focus on him. Actually, let's see here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. He could phase into the fury. Let's see what it does. I don't need to do anything. I can't cast spells yet on the first turn. I could restore the inferno puppy, but I don't think we're, we're even going to need the inferno puppy. Alright, I think that chances are he's trying to phase into our back units, our squishiest units. I think that I want you to stay right there. Taunt him. 66% 66 chance of success. Eh, let's see. Come on. Yeah. Good. So now he has to attack the anvil guard. He's not going to bother with anybody else. Mr. Halberdier, face this direction. You're going to be our bulwark against these stone spirits. Meanwhile, 
What can you hit? If I move the... If I move here, I'm safe. Alright. Yes, sir. I am safe. If I move anywhere along there, I am not safe. So I'll move you, Lesser Tide Spirit, right there, to stay out of range. I want them to come for the Halberdier. I cannot cast Grant Defense again. That's okay. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to spend a couple mana to boost the Halberdier. Now that the Stone Spirit is concerned with the Anvil Guard, I think what we're going to do is probably focus down the Stone Spirit. You cannot hit him well. Let's see, 270. Let's move you to here. Start getting some shots in. Start getting some shots in. Alright, good deal, good deal. Two movement, 50%. What are you weak to, by the way? Spirit. So we want to hit him with the Magic Blast, unless I think something is straight up better. Which I don't think it is. 50%, 100%. Let's get 100%. These cliffs will block the Lesser Stone Spirits. You, sir, do physical damage, right? Yes, sir. I want to preserve the movement points of the bows because they can attack multiple times per turn. These guys cannot do that. Fury, fury, fury. Let's do the damage that we've got. Let's see what we can get. Alright. 25. And he's blinded. Good deal. Alright, we shot already. 100, so... I cannot get two hits on this guy no matter what I do. So let's move you onto the cliff right there. Get that crossbow shot. Well, that's a crossbow. I can't hit twice anyway. Mr. Inferno Puppy, please stand behind the Harbadier. Stand at the ready to help. Everybody else is going into defense mode. Yes. All right. Yeah, he did not use the phase. He's not going to use the phase move. Okay, okay. Anvil Guard is taking some decent damage. I expected that, but that, that is his job. One strike or two strikes? One strike. Good deal. All right, all right. So first thing we do is we murder the Stone Spirit. Mr. Anvil Guard cannot do it, but the Fury can get it done. Stone Spirit taken care of. Magic Blast. <laughs> can I boost him even more? That's a good question. Do I even need to? That's an even better question. Overdraw Crossbow shot this guy. Remove his retaliation attack. Let's get that flank. Alright, he's wet now. Both of them are wet. No, one of them's wet. Being wet increases your weakness to lightning and frost. Which means I could hit them both with the lightning staff. Mr. Crossbow, if you would please, shoot him. We're going to lightning both of these fools. And kill them, probably. Here we go. Ba-boom. There we go. I'd say overall we did a lot better in terms of hit points lost. We only took some damage to the anvil guard and a slight amount of damage to the halberdier. We got a heavy crossbow and some gold. Let's just look at that so we don't have to look at it anymore. It's just another heavy crossbow, and in fact, I think I would prefer to sell that heavy crossbow. So you can sell these weapons just by... Uh, no, 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 I don't want you to equip it, sir. I would like to hit sell, and then I would like to sell the heavy crossbow, because I... Honestly, I'm not going to use this on any heroes. Why would I ever use a crossbow on a hero? It doesn't even have overdraw crossbow. Like, what's up with that? No one's going to use that. 
Okay. So your moves are expended, sir. Come back to the Lesser Tide Spirit, rejoin forces, get that healing. If you're inside your friendly territory, you get 25 hit points per turn, which you can see right there. 25 in friendly domain, that can be modified of course. You can modify hostile domain and neutral domain. And if you're in neutral domain, the base healing is plus five. I think in hostile domain it's plus five, but I'm not 100% certain about that fact. I cannot yet get seafaring. I will get seafaring on the next turn. Uh, Mr. Oh, we are in his domain now. Does he care about me trespassing? I think he might. He has inherent dislike. We just met. He doesn't like empires that don't have relationships with free cities, but I have a relationship with a free city. You can see their personality right here. Like, he's a competitive merchant. He likes empires with stronger economy, empires that trade. He dislikes empires without free city relationships, empires that break treaties. He likes gold. He's uneasy with us because he feels threatened by us, which is a. He should feel threatened. This storm city is gold wall. Uh, I don't think he cares that I'm in his land, but he might. Uh, I think I want to just leave the underground alone. He can have this area. I will, not I will not kill him for now, or potentially ever. I want to scout more of the above ground. Alright, you sir, go to this watchtower, get us some better vision. Grab me that gold. Ring of Endurance. This gives us straight up status resistance. I would say that's something to give somebody that is more likely to get hit. Can we prospect this province? No we cannot, we cannot enter the province at all. Nor can we enter that province. So let's move towards the road. You sir, go prospect that province right there. Come on, hero item. Oh hey hey. Ring of the Inspired Killer. Killing a unit grants double morale bonus to its allies. Hmm. Crit chance or morale bonus? Crit chance or morale bonus? I think I think I like morale bonus. Crit chance increases the likelihood that we're going to kill the enemy slightly. But morale bonus increases your army's damage if you get the morale high enough. Mr. Spider, what would I like you to do? I'd like you to join this anvil guard most likely. And I think that we're going to go crush Heartfield very soon. So let's have you move here. My gold is doing quite good. I'd like to build some more units first before I decide to crush the enemy in Heartfield. I've got a pretty good stack right here, but it's not quite good enough in my opinion. We finished researching spell tempered shields. We can start working on that probably this turn, actually. And we just finished our tomb. Let's move away from the glitched out in front of our puppy. Let's see what we want to pick. So we've got Materium Affinity and we've got Order Affinity. I was talking earlier about wanting chaplains to heal which should be Tomb of Faith, right. So let's actually talk a moment about the tombs. So if you open the tomb library, this is all the tombs that are available with tons of spells, summons, unit enchantments, all that good stuff. You have tier one tomb, tier two tomb, three, four, and five. You can only ever research one tier five to research a tier five tomb you need at least two of those tier four tombs and you need eight of that tomb's affinity to research a tier four you need two a tier three and six of that affinity a tier three needs two tier tombs and a tier two needs at least two tier ones right so one tier five that's your magnum opus and you can have plenty of other tier 4, tier 3, etc. We are going to get the chaplain because I want to be able to heal my units up. I also want, where is it? Faithful Whispers. Well, so Faithful Whispers gives allegiance with target city faster. That's a great thing. 
chaplains, you can hear our like I hope you enjoyed Age of Wonders 4 following Bray Gear and I as we lead the anointed orcs into the future. If you like this video, why not give it a like? And if you want to see more, you can always subscribe. Feel free to let me know how the video went or what you thought of my moves in the comments below. I'll see you later in episode 9.